What's up? What? We are in. We are so good people. Thanks for clicking this book for yourself, yeah? Straight out of Africa with good vibes. Much, much, much love. Peace and forgiveness. And today's videos, whoa, 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 they are crazy, creepy, educative. You can read it all and they will make you think reality. Watch to the end and leave your comments. Let's dive in. Good vibes, oh yeah! Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show everyone what these guys do without editing, without anything. And just each time they do something different and they don't always work. So let's go again, let's do something else. He's only got a little dance floor. If I put my finger on there, you can see he hasn't got a lot of room. These guys are about 500 high, 500 wide millimeters. And they just dance like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> you can't get sick of these guys, they're cool. So if you want one, send me a PM. I'm making them. Oh. We've had a tumble. I've had some right themselves. They come come good. They spin around and let's see if I can do something. See if he oh no he's not going to. But you just play, you just do whatever. Look. Get his legs in the air. Watch him go. Just oh hang on buddy. You just can't get sick of these guys. They're just nuts. How cool is that? Send me a PM if you want one. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Of course, no cosmic event could have made the dinosaurs extinct. They spent 10 years taking that ridicule until they found the crater in the Gulf of Mexico. Since then, the whole scientific community has accepted that the course of life on this planet was radically changed by a cosmic impact. You know, I like to, to joke about it, but it was a cosmic impact that was big enough, literally, to turn dinosaurs into chickens. Uh, because that's what's left of the dinosaur line, is, you know, the birds. Yeah. Um, and at the same time, skulking in those primeval forests is this little mammal. And it looks mm. a bit like a shrew, uh, 65 million years ago. Going nowhere, the dinosaurs rule the Earth. Then the cosmos intervenes. The dinosaurs are swept out of the way. And what happens? The mammals start to evolve very rapidly, and they start to occupy by niches that were previously closed to them. And the bottom line is, we would not be here, the human species would not be here, we would not be having this conversation if the dinosaurs had not been made extinct 65 million years ago. If you're a renter and a landlord wants you to move out, what are your rights when it comes to strangers visiting your unit? Our Pat Foran has this consumer alert. Pat. Thanks, Michelle. And Nathan, a Brampton woman contacted us after she said her landlord allowed potential buyers into her unit without any notice. She was concerned for her privacy and safety we wanted to check the law when it comes to your rights as a renter well i heard my door open and i woke up and i was in shock linda kassoon rents a basement apartment in a home in brampton she says her landlord was planning to sell the property and was allowing potential buyers inside her unit without telling her in advance she said it happened once while she was in the shower and i go get out of my apartment right now. Get out. Who are you guys? What are you doing? Kassoon says while her landlord did apologize, another realtor came into the unit unannounced while she was sleeping. You guys, you just let people come into my place without letting me know. Tenants have rights. You get these rights for paying your rent. You pay 100% of your rent, you get 100% of your rights. Tenant advocate Jordy Dent says a landlord needs to provide 24 hours written notice to a tenant, and that includes if a realtor is showing the unit. So if you're a real estate agent um, wanting to come in, show the unit to a prospective buyer for a landlord, you're supposed to have written authorization for that. You're supposed to be able to show that written authorization to the tenant. 
A landlord may enter a rental unit with written notice 24 hours in advance if the notice has the reason for entry and time of entry, such as if they need to carry out repairs or do work in the unit, to allow a potential purchaser to view a unit or to carry out an inspection of the unit. They can't just come in. They have to follow the law. Even if they're there to do something you want, you are always required to get 24 hours written notice. Kassoon wanted to let other renters know their rights. Her unit is no longer for sale, but she may have to move out to allow the landlord's family members to move in. She says trying to find another place to live has been difficult. It's so hard to find a place that's about the same price. Um, living in the city, living in Brampton, the home prices are very expensive. And a landlord may enter a unit without 24 hours notice if the tenant agrees or there is an emergency like a flood or a fire. But if there is not proper notice, a tenant can file a complaint with the Landlord Tenant Board. On your side, I'm Pat Foran. If you have a consumer story idea, email us at alert at ctv.ca. This is the one thing I started doing that made me significantly more attractive. And by attractive, I mean magnetic, not physically better looking but you essentially get the same result as if you had had a physical glow up my friend andrew noticed it when we were together in new york city he was like fiona everyone comes up to you like everyone on the street is saying things to you wanting to talk to you offering you stuff and i was like i know it's because i took on this new mentality and what i did was started radically applying the idea that everything happens in my favor to all situations in my life even getting a parking ticket, for instance. Something that's hard to see, like, how the fuck is this $100 parking ticket in my favor? But you instead start seeing it as like, well, if I had parked at the other spot a block over, my car would have been towed. Or there was a car accident on the block over. Thank God I wasn't involved in that. When I started actually practicing this in my life, it was actually overwhelming how my interactions with strangers became so much more exciting, loving, and welcoming. People could feel me radiating that energy. I've never heard anyone else ever talk about this. Thunder, low, bass, drum. These are long waves. Long wave sounds travel longer throughout the environment. It dawned on me, oh my God, this may mean that drum circles, uh, indigenous people, pagans, people celebrating a harvest, they're all coming together in community and they're drumming. And as they're drumming, these long wave sound frequencies are literally going into the mycelial networks that are underneath your feet, that are in your immediate surroundings. The mycelium is like strings on a guitar, like strings on a piano or a violin. They are reverberating from the thunderous beating of humans celebrating nature and life is causing the mycelial networks to grow. And as the mycelium is growing, it's giving more nutrients, it's helping all these other life cycles. There's more potential fruits, berries, nuts. Uh, so the emanates throughout the ecosystem. And so I realized, oh my gosh, this may be actually a feedback loop. When you're celebrating in community with music, you are actually communicating with the mycelial networks. And every one of those fibers are resonating from the sound waves and they're responding with their fruitful acknowledgement and being able to provide you with greater sustenance. You are now literally beginning to experience the physical effects of your world splitting into multiple parallel reality versions of Earth. Literally, physically. The idea is you're going to see a lot more shakeups and breakups because you are disassembling the idea that you live in one reality and beginning to understand that no matter that you can still see a reality you don't prefer, it doesn't mean you're living in it. There are now what might euphemistically be referred to as glass walls beginning to appear between the different reality vibrations. So even though you may still be able to see a reality you don't prefer and people making choices you don't prefer, just because you can see them doesn't mean that what they're doing can reach you through that glass wall. These walls are filters now. They are beginning to exist as thickening energy. And less and less and less will you be able to receive or experience the effects of someone else's reality that is not vibrationally compatible with the reality you prefer. But you, by living the reality you prefer, because the others on the other side of the glass walls can still see you too, 
allows you to become a living example of other kinds of choices that they can also make should they decide to do so. So when you live in your passion, act on your passion to the best you can with no insistence, no assumption as to what that outcome is supposed to look like, you steer yourself more and more strongly in the direction of the reality you prefer, the version of Earth that you're shifting to. Because remember, you never change the Earth you're on. You change yourself, and in increments, you shift to other versions of coexisting Earths that are simply more and more reflective of the changes you're making within you. closely as two big glowing eyes appear in a large round grayish looking head something is pacing back and forth in the bushes at first I thought oh it's just someone hiding behind the bush and then I saw these glowing eyes and I literally felt sick because I've never been so terrified in my life. Basically, I don't like to go in my garden after dark now. Oh my god! Was that real? That thing looks like a ghost or something from a movie? Oh, please, you can really and tell me if you see the comment section. There is a video that has passed about the landlord and that lady. You see, that's very sad because you should love your neighbors, you love yourself, and care for your neighbors, you care for yourself. But the landlords out there watching, much love to you. You should love and treat your tenants as you would have wanted to be treated. Much love to everyone, watch till the end and hit the like button, the super thanks button, you are loved. Let's keep watching. I understand if I were to give you a current example of slavery, what I would do with you is a spaceship lands, someone takes you to a planet where there are nothing but green people. They take you away from your mother, your father, all of these institutions. It took at least three years to make a slave a slave. For the next three years, green people are going to tell you, you're no good. White is a horrible looking color. Not having zinc bob wire hair is disgusting. Now, let me ask you this. After 400 years of that, what do you think your reaction would be when you saw a white person uh, either in the audience or in a magazine? <laughs> the microphone isn't on. What I've got from today's discussion is that you're saying your actions are based upon how we react to no, you. No, I am asking you what would your reaction right now be after having been held in captive 400 years by green people? What would you think of being white now, right now? No, that's, he, he, he speaks for himself. He would? I'm okay, still, fine. I'm that's still the white. The that's I'm still yeah. white. White is white and black is black. No, that's not the question, I... sir. The question is, if you for 400 years had been on the planet Mars with green people... Being told that white was no good. ...over and over that's again. That's what he doesn't being get. white is no good. That's what he didn't get. If they had killed you, if you'd stood up and saying, being white is all right. If they killed generations of you for standing up and saying, being white is all right. I ask you today, what would you think of being white? Am I supposed to say that I don't like my heritage? No, you're supposed no, to speak the truth. No, I want to drop, hold it. I got to drop this. You're not connecting. You two are not communicating. Does anyone know what this is? We found it when we were digging up our yard. And the weird thing is, when you take the top off, the camera gets all fuzzy. And then, when you turn the light off, it glows. It's so weird. If you know what this is, let me know, because this is really weird. Oh, what is that thing? No, I mean, these girls came within 8 to 10 feet. Three. Three women. Katya, two sisters, Liliani, and Valkyria. 14, 16, and 21. They got within 8 to 10 feet in broad daylight of this creature. 
And one of the things that doesn't come across in the film, when they saw this thing, they're looking like, what are we looking at here? They're walking through this field and it's up against a cinder block wall. So I'm always saying they're harvesting your energy. They are out to do this and this and this. And then you're like, who the fuck is they? Did you put your tinfoil hat on? Cause it's about to get fucking real. Disclaimer, I'm not saying I'm right. I'm not saying I know everything. I'm not saying you should believe everything that I say. And this is totally up for discussion in the comments. So let's go. There's the conspiracy theories that there is a satanic elite ruling the world, 100%. Not only is it a satanic elite, but it is the richest families on the planet. 100%. Above that, I highly, 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 highly believe they're extraterrestrial beings. Dark extraterrestrial beings. There are so many movies that have been created to program us that aliens are scary and mean, so we're scared of them. But truth is not all of them are bad. I believe that in the history of the earth and how everything started, these beings were good. They were kind. Everything was peaceful until it wasn't. I see it as it was peaceful. We were operating with such advanced technologies. Like we were all working at optimally together i do think then there was like a fucking galactic war that knocked out the park and then earth was kind of like taken over enslaved mankind has been under this mass hypnosis stuck in this holographic simulation of what the fuck is this and then the whole reason that why we're all fucking here at this time on the planet is because we looked into the earth pool and we're like shit they're fucked we gotta go down there, don't we? We are quite literally like Guardians of the Galaxy, not the fucking movie with the talking raccoon, okay? You are like this warrior that saw that a planet is in need because every living being on this planet is in fucking danger right now, okay? See it that way. You agree to sacrificing your peace and bliss. Like, y'all, we were so fucking chilling in the non-physical realm. We were just existing, not feeling any emotions, not suffering, no pain, no fear, no scarcity, nothing. But then we went, <coughs> oh, fuck. Let's fucking do this shit. And here we are. But a lot of us have forgotten because we have to forget our true divine nature when we reincarnate into this physical realm. So everybody is spending their whole lifetime right now confused, trying to figure it out, not knowing why they don't fit in, not knowing why they don't like anything right now. There's a fucking reason for that. You're a fucking guardian of the galaxy. How does it feel? I'm letting you know now. We are all here to remind our brothers and sisters because we are all connected of their divine and infinite power. We are here to raise the vibrational frequency of the planet because they, have been keeping it in the third dimensional frequency, which is where there is the most fear, the most separation. We are here to ascend back into the dimension of peace and unity and love. By doing that, we all have to conquer our inner shadows. We all have to go within because everything has to be reflected outwards. Does that make sense? It, it all starts with us too fucked up shit i don't know who the fuck came up with this so when i say they see it as these dark beings and it's not because they're dark i highly believe they're just disconnected from their light they saw a way to take something from us that would benefit them but that is actually the weakest fucking thing you can do i talk about this in my new ebook how to not lose your shit after unplugging from the matrix i talk about these dark beings actually being fucking pussies that they don't believe in their own power that they have to go after all of ours like why can't we just all fucking be powerful together i don't get it we're here to bring motherfucking love back on the planet all right mankind has been enslaved for too long this is its fucking liberation welcome i'm glad you're here i know you've been dealing with feelings of overwhelmment and confusion and not understanding anything of your existence so i highly suggest you get my ebook if you want to be like liberated time to let those things go you're a warrior you're here to fucking conquer this battle between love and shit because it's been stinking up the room a little too much. Like this planet is like, it's, it's rough. So anyways, I love you. I don't know if I answered your question. If you have more questions, leave them down below and I will do my absolute best to get back to you. I love every single one of you. Let's fucking do this. <laughs> oh, wow, that's very interesting, man. You see, these videos are for entertainment and part of a critical review, but somehow, coincidentally, some videos are in with our message of love, unity, and peace out there to the world, man. You see, that is the message that you should be spreading out there. And if anyone ever was a superhero, you can be a superhero of love in wherever you are out there to the world. Start spreading love to everyone around you and be the superhero of love anywhere around the world. Much love to you. You are loved. Watch till the end, guys. Crazy videos coming, uh, also, let's see.
No! Why do they always write this stuff about the mercury on a piece of paper like this? You see, I've been asking this, this question myself. I've been asking myself this question and I don't get the answer. I also asked you and uh, it seems no one knows. Huh. Oh man, how do these people get this red market? Is it an animal's waste? Please tell me, I would like to know this. It, it can be something like that, some crazy animal from Australia or where I've been seeing. Much glad to guys in Australia. Red mercury, 99.99% .99 pure. Is this thing sold? Those guys that know about pharmaceuticals, can I get these things in the lab or somewhere like that? I can like to try some few things with it. Now, oh, this is very great. Since I started to see this video, so I've come across many things that really does on my mind. And uh, now these things like this ones, these are things I didn't know. And now I ask myself, do I even know if uh, these are just videos? Please help me to know if this is it. You know, these things I don't know, I see them, I doubt if they are real. Oh, how, how can there be a liquid that can do this? Oh. Ah, now this is uh, above my understanding. <laughs> ah, but then we big up to some guys like at uh, MJST. So that guy is a very active guy. Much love to you out there. Much love to the whole community. Everybody. Oh my god.